it's Brady. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are brand new here, hi, hello, welcome. We are a family of four. It is myself, my husband, and our seven and four-year-old girls plus a crazy 75-pound dog. Uh, my husband works full-time crazy hours. I am in college full-time, back to college. Yeah, mm-hmm. And the girls are both in school full-time, plus I work part-time, plus YouTube. You know, plus running a household life is crazy busy and uh, just like the rest of y'all. So on our channel, we like to share what's for dinner. We like to share a lot of grocery hauls, Sam's Club hauls, meal planning, freezer meal prep, all of that good stuff and some daily life thrown in as well. So if that's your sort of thing, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button and stick around. And if you are returning, hi, hello, I'm so glad you're back. So glad that you have decided to join us again. So today's video is a grocery haul, as you saw by the thumbnail. Mm, it took a lot of work to procure this grocery haul. Um, what was supposed to be two quick and easy uh, pickup orders from Target and Kroger quickly, well, rather not quickly, turned into um, Kroger, Publix, Target, and Walmart. Walmart, I had to go in on a Friday afternoon. I don't recommend that. Um, <laughs> I don't recommend that store most of the time, to be quite honest. Um, it's just not my favorite. It is not an enjoyable experience around here. Maybe it is for you, and that's wonderful. I'm so glad, but it's not here. Okay. The other thing is, I'm just trying to buy my weekly groceries. Yes, I needed some meat items because our freezer is getting low, but I just needed my regular groceries. But everyone in the state of Tennessee has decided that the blizzard of 93 is back and they're buying every grocery that the store has. Now, friends, we don't need to do that. We just don't need to do that. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done with that part. Just know that Kroger had to delay our pickup order, which was no big deal. Um, by about an hour and a half. But then they didn't notify us that it was ready. I just happened to show up and hope for the best. And it was ready. So then she comes out because it didn't give me a chance to review my substitutions. And I knew, I knew I couldn't get that lucky to come out with uh, no substitutions and out of stock items. I just knew better than that. But what happened is she comes out and she had three sheets of paper. <laughs> And she was like, here's your out of stock and substitutions. <laughs> and I'm sure that the shock on my face was palpable, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> it all worked out. We got what we needed um, before the great apocalypse hits. <laughs> um, but anyways, so they were out of milk, chicken, most bread items, and a lot of produce. Publix was out of... Almost all dairy items, including milk. They had very little bread to choose from. Even hamburger buns and hot dog buns were picked over. Um, and their meat was picked over. Their produce was picked over. And this, y'all, was this morning. Like, everyone should have still been at work at school. So, you know. Um, and then I went to um, or my Target pickup. Several things were canceled there. Went to Walmart this afternoon after getting the girls from school. And they were out of probably half of their produce department. Um, and they were very low on chicken. And, well, I say that. They apparently were fully stocked on chicken. But the lady that came and got chicken in front of me got 15 family packages of chicken. So, I don't know what she needed those for. But she's set now. Um, <laughs> but I got my two that I needed and left a few more for someone else. So we're good. Um, but they did have milk. They did have bread. They had all of that sort of thing. So um, we're lacking on produce this week, but it will be just fine. I'll stock up next week on produce. So all of that yammering to say, I'll probably just be doing our own shopping. Just that's going to make it easier on me and y'all to not have to hear me yammer on about how it went. <laughs> but I am going to share with you everything that we got. We have a very full table today, so I'm very thankful for that. And next week is probably going to be a much smaller haul. 
um, because then hopefully the week after that we are planning to go to Sam's Club and Aldi and get back to our monthly shopping, so be watching for that. But let me just flip you around. I'll share with you as much as I can remember of the prices and um, where they're from and all of that good stuff. I think our grand total today was two... 229 and some change so definitely over our 180 dollar budget but normally we do eat out on the weekends at least once but we are not doing that this weekend so it's still going to be less money than if we were eating out does that make sense okay so let me flip you around and i'll share with you what i picked up okay so here's the table let me share with you what all i got i'm just going to start on this end so from publix i got their they got the Nature Zone perfectly crafted brioche style hamburger buns. These were like $3.29, which really hurts my feelings, but they had some buns, so we're good. $2.99 from Kroger for the sourdough bread, and $1.59 for some white sandwich bread, as well as a loaf, no, not a loaf, a pack of the Kroger plain bagels. These were $1.99, and then $2.50 for the roasted garlic naan bread to make some quick pizzas for dinner tomorrow. And then this was $2.99 for 80 corn tortillas for um, chicken tacos. And I think what I'm gonna do is just make a, a bunch of chicken taco meat and then we'll have chicken tacos for dinner tonight and lunch tomorrow. And then we're gonna also try our hand at making our own tortilla chips. So I got those. I also got some pepperoni. This was $1.50 for the three ounce bag, but Kroger was out, so they actually substituted. Mishka Louise, are you done? Are you done, my dear? Apparently, this is her dinner time. Anyways, <laughs> I ordered the three ounce $1.50 bag. They didn't have it, so they substituted the six ounce bag for $1.50, so that definitely worked in our favor. Um, I believe it was $1.29 for the bologna the Bar S brand. My husband and my oldest love bologna and they haven't had it in a while. So I did pick up that for them for sandwiches. Um, the Wright brand bacon, the Applewood smoke. This is our absolute favorite. It was $8.99 for a half, one and a half pounds. Um, so we're gonna enjoy that. This was $2.59 or $2.69 I think for this nine ounce container from Target of the Good and Gather Ultra Thin Deli Sliced Oven Roasted Turkey Breast for sandwiches. Um, this was like $1.58 or $1.98, something like that for the Market Side Lemonade. This is 44 ounces um, because they didn't have our Milo's tea with lemonade. And although last week we got tea and Milo's lemonade and just made, made our own, um, which was delicious, but they nowhere, nowhere had the Milo's Lemonade in stock. So we're just gonna try that out and see how that works. $2.26 each for the chocolate almond milk, the great value brand from Walmart. This was something else that Kroger was out of. So I got two of those. I got two of the family size packs of boneless skinless chicken breast for $1.99 a pound from Walmart. Real bacon pieces, these were $1.59 from Kroger. $2 from Target for the Danimals Princess Smoothies, the Mixed Berry Six Pack, $5.99, $5.81, because it's just under a pound, of the Kroger White American Cheese to try to make our own queso, uh, like cheese dip. And then we got a ball of fresh mozzarella. I think I might have ordered the pearls and they substituted this fresh mozzarella. That's totally fine. It was like $3.29 for that. The Chobani Zero Sugar, I went to Publix for yogurts because the Go-Gurts and the Chobani yogurts were all buy one, get one free, but um, all they had were these and then the big boxes of Go-Gurts that were not on sale. So I just got one pack for my husband, the Chobani Zero Sugar Vanilla. We're going to try that out. And I think that was $2 and like 29 cents. Three fifty for the Danimals pouches, four pack cotton candy paw thick. Uh, Paw Patrol, so my youngest is going to love that. Um, I've said that before, but cotton candy yogurt does not sound appealing to me, but they love it, so it was a nice treat. Um, we needed some more whipped cream cheese spread. Kroger did not have any, so I was able to get this at Walmart for $1.82, 85 something like that. And then they also have the Dean's French Onion Dip for $1.88 for a 16-ounce container. 
And then I got the Reese's Pieces cookie dough. That was an impulse buy because I had to go in Walmart. Um, but it was two, $2.69 or something like that. Uh, two twenty nine for some low moisture parts, part skim mozzarella. I think I'd ordered the whole milk and they had to substitute it. Dollar seventy nine for the crinkle cut fries Kroger brand from Target. They have the Eggo waffles finally. Um, everywhere's been out of stock of these for some random reason, but they had these two for four. So I got one Eggo chocolate chip waffles and one cinnamon toast waffles. Four one pound packages. Let me get over here on this side. Four one pound packages of the Angus private selection Angus beef 80 20 ground chuck. These are $3.77 a pound. Two, uh, and we are totally out of ground beef in our freezer. So those four pounds are all that we're going to have on hand for the next two weeks. Um, and I think it'll work out okay. Um, we eat more chicken than beef in this house anyways, and we don't really eat a lot of pork other than um, I guess this week is not the week to say we don't eat a lot of pork, given I got bacon, bologna, and pepperoni. But I don't eat really either one of those, and I eat bacon on occasion. So it's more for me and sensitivities. Two Milo's tea. These are three nineteen a gallon and two gallons of whole milk. I had to actually go to Walmart to get milk because that's something everyone was out of. And it was $3.20 which has definitely gone up as well. Okay, let me just see if I can get back over to the middle of the table. The Pepsis were three for 12 for the 12 packs at Kroger. And then I did have a dollar off one e-coupon, so I got them three for 11, which I think is like 366, 367 uh, per 12 pack. So we're not out of sodas by any stretch of the imagination, but um, if we get snowed in, <laughs> I'm gonna need some caffeine. Uh, so we got some more since it was a really good deal. And then next week, i am most likely, unless there's some crazy deal again, next week I probably won't buy soda at all. Um, Kool-Aid jammers were totally out of stock at Kroger, but Walmart had some, so I got those for $2.12 for the Tropical Punch, Tropical Punch flavor. Um, the Kleenex. Okay, so there's a deal right now. Kleenex is included if you buy the six packs. And it's a bunch of items, but in particular for the Kleenex, it's buy two at $8.99 each and get $10 off. That makes the six packs $3.99. However, <laughs> uh, they substituted my other box of six with the box of four, which means it didn't trigger the $10 off. So I have called because there's a couple of things like that that worked out that way. And they did give me a $20 credit for the $10 off of there and the $10 off of the soups. But, um, so it's all going to work out. I'll use it next week. But that means that I did technically pay out of pocket more than I wanted to for the Kleenex. But if you can get them in your area, it's the six packs of, I think there are 110 count boxes of Kleenex, either Ultra Soft or Soothing Lotion. And they are $8.99 each. Buy two, get $10 off instantly. You don't need a coupon. It's just a sale that comes off when you buy two. So technically out of pocket, I paid $8.99 and then $6.99 for the four count, but it's okay. We got, we got the $20 credit. Um, Zesta crackers. I had ordered just the Kroger brand um, saltine crackers, but they were out and did not get to substitute those. So when I went to Walmart, they were out of the great value brand. So I got the Zestas and those were $1.85 or a dollar. No, maybe they were two something. I think they were two something. Um, but I wanted some saltine crackers for chili one night. The Tillamook Zero Sugar Smoked Sausages. These my husband really enjoys. And they are $4.99 at Target. Plus I had 20% off with Target Circle. So roughly we saved a yeah, dollar-ish off of this. So it made it about $3.99. That'll be a good snack for him. And we haven't had these everything cashews in a while, so I got these. Uh, the Good and Gather brand, these are $5.99 for a 7.5 ounce container, but they are delicious. And then what else did we get? Oh, okay. And then we got two English cucumbers for 99 cents each. Those are from Target Pickup. And then I got the shredded iceberg lettuce for more tacos this week. The That one I think was like $1.89. And then two, no, $3 for the bag of Publix Italian blend 
salad mix. This one's just romaine lettuce and radicchio. Um, so we'll use that for salads as well. Um, I think it was 89 cents from Kroger for some cilantro. I'm gonna try to perk that up a little bit. It's looking a little sad. $3.99 for a five pound bag of red potatoes from Kroger. These little cakes I got for my husband and I to try. I don't know, they just look fun. Um, again, why I don't like going in Walmart because I end up impulse buying. Uh, but they were a dollar each. The iced cinnamon swirl cake and the lemon, the iced lemon cake. So we're gonna try those out. $3.69 plus 10% off of the, 15% off of the Good and Gather products. Oh yeah, so anything that was Good and Gather, I got 15% off at Target Pickup. So the lettuce, the apples, I don't know what else. Um, the lunch meat, different things like that. I got 15% off. So that, that little bit helps. And then um, some of these apples, though, are not in the greatest condition. Um, but I'll either contact customer service or we'll try to make them work one way or another. It was like $3.50. No, no, it was like $3.29 for a bag, a uh, three pound bag of apples. And those are the Gala apples. $2.50 for a pound of strawberries from Kroger. I got a lemon for... S How much was this? I don't remember. I think it was $0.79 cents at Publix. Two little jalapenos. These were $0.18 cents or $0.19 cents each from Kroger. Two limes. They were $0.67 cents each from Kroger. Two potatoes. They kind of look a little worse for the wear, but they'll be okay. We're going to use those for... Baking potatoes, they were 99 cents a pound, so probably about 99 cents for both of them. A dollar 59, I think, for the um, bath loofah for myself from Kroger. Flushable wipes for the kiddos. These were, I think they were 3.79 for those. 69 cents from Kroger for some more straws. This was an out of stock item at Kroger. And so I got this at Walmart. It's just the children's allergy liquid to put in the um, overflow extra stuff that we keep in our utility closet. Um, and there is an organization video of that closet coming very soon. So that one I think was like $5.82 or $86, something like that. It has gone up in price as well. $1.99 from Target for some Louisiana tea bags. 24 of the family size bags. We got some of these munchies, jalapeno cheddar Doritos. I have no idea, but they were crackers. I thought my husband might enjoy trying them. They were $2.58, so I picked those up from Walmart. Again, impulse. <laughs> I had ordered the chocolate-covered Hostess Donuts for $2 from Kroger, but they substituted the glazed. I had ordered 10 various Progresso soups because if you bought 10, you got them 99 cents each. But again... They only gave me eight, so I didn't get my $10 off there, um, but they did give it to me on my Kroger card to use in our next trip. So I think there's four chicken and home style noodles, spicy jambalaya, there's a tomato basil and a beef pot roast and a lasagna style soup with Italian These sauce. These were also an impulse buy, but not really. We're gonna do a taste test video with these. Um, so I thought these were kind of cool. The Lay's Layers, we got the three cheese and the sour cream and onion. Those were from Publix. They were three for set or two for seven. A dollar seventy-seven for the kettle cooked sea salt and cracked pepper. I'd also ordered um, another variety of Lay's chips as well as the Poppables white cheddar, but those were out of stock. Impulse buy, but I got the fun dips for two fifty. Um, the Good and Gather applesauce was also 15% off. It is a 12 count box and I think it ended up being like $4.79 or $4.89 after the 15% off. So it's just the apple cinnamon. There's the tissues I already showed you. Kroger was out of tortilla chips. So I did pick this up at Walmart, the great value restaurant style corn tortilla chips. And those were $1.74. And then $2.12 for the Ripple Great Value brand chips since they were out of the other ones I had ordered. So, that's a look at everything. I know for tonight we're going to have chicken tacos. Um, tomorrow we will have leftover chicken tacos for lunch. And then we will have the homemade pizzas for dinner. 
And, oh, Kroger was also out of green onions, blueberries. I couldn't get green onions or blueberries anywhere else either. So we're just going to deal without those. And then they were also out of the two rotisserie chickens that I ordered. So um, we're just going to uh, roast up maybe our own chicken. I do have one whole chicken in the freezer. Um, so we'll do our best with that. But um, that's our plan. And then next week, I'm not sure. We do have one London broil roast. So we'll probably make a Mississippi pot roast. We're going to do chili one night. And... I'm not sure what else from there. We're going to make a plan for the week and go from there. So, oh, the other thing, they were also out of chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast at Kroger. But they were also out of the 99 cents per pound that's on sale this week of the split chicken breasts that have the bone and skin on them. Um, I was going to roast a bunch of that up and pull that meat and then make broth. But we're just going to try to flip around and do without those items this week. So, that's everything that I got this week. Let me know how stores are, how the weather is in your area. If you've never said hello before, please do that. Leave me a comment down below. Say hi. Let me know if you're new um, or if you've just never said hello before. Uh, let me know where you're shopping and how you're doing. And as always, until our next video, I will see y'all in the comments down below. Bye, y'all.